so we've been pulled over. <laughs> Unbelievable. We've been following you guys Hi. forever. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, this is Kenny. Hi. How's it going? Nice to meet you. My name is me, as you can see, but I don't mind you call me. That was fun. Did you see the bear that was going out by the thing and he caught the fish and then he went up to the street and he ate it? It was like he was giving us a show. So take me somewhere no one else can see. Here's what I think of these kind of fairies. You can't get in your thing. Your little mabobber back there. Yeah. Like, I remember back in my days, the glory days, my the first glory days, I know, before I, you let yourself go. I know, exactly. Good morning. It's 6.30. I guess this is where we've been camping, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I've been up probably since six, and I've been listening for cars, no cars have passed, and then I wanted to get out of here to see if that gate was still closed, and it's still closed, pretty surprising. 6.30 in the morning and the gate's still closed, so. All right, so I think we need to make some coffee. Alright, I was just sitting here editing and I happened to look to my right and I saw the gate swing up. 659. So the bank is open, I mean the border is open. So at this point I feel like we're on the side of the road because the gate's open. So once that coffee right there is done brewing and we pour a couple cups for Trisha and I, we'll wake up those rascally boys and we'll make our way through the border get down into Haynes, find a place to hook up, and just edit the rest of the day. So, I think this will work out. You're all, we're all slid up, everything's tucked in. All slides are in. So the weird thing is, you don't stop here. I know, this is, the customs is up ahead. By there were a couple Canadian agents that just kind of waved, so they knew we were there. Interesting. That was interesting. When we get up to the border, I'm going to ask what the hours are. Seatbelts <laughs> <laughs> on, windows down. Yes. Windows down. Oh, we gotta. No. Here. Dad, turn up the heat. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where's the piece of paper for the gun? It's right it's in here. It's right. Nice. He was super nice. So. And that was so easy to get that done. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. Again. Right. Again. Again. <laughs> Again. So anyhow, he asked if where we were going. We said Haynes. He asked if we had any tobacco or alcohol. We said no. Asked if we had any firearms. And I said yes with paperwork. He said okay, fine. And then he said, where are you going? We said Haynes. He said, what are you doing there? He said, we're going to go jump on the ferry. Skagway. Go to Skagway and then go back. He said, okay. See you later. I said, what are the hours? And he said, 7 to 11. I guess the border has hours. Who but it's open for business. Open for business. And Haynes, Alaska is 39 miles away. And we've got two options when we get there. One is the state park, which would be really good for a bunch of bald eagles and that kind of stuff while we edit. The other is the Haynes Hitch Up. Haynes Hookup. Haynes Hitch Up, something like that, which I'm we heard was a nice RV. I'm impressed that you know these things. Do you do your research? No. Who are you? I bumped What's into people. What's going on? I bumped into people. <laughs> I'm good at asking questions and retaining information. Yeah, no, information. you really are. You really are. Yes, but not, not, not like. We see Mark walking around and he's chatting with people, and the kids and I are like, "Dad's making more intel. friends." Get my intel. Dad's making friends. Oh.
been in the Haynes area for all of four minutes. That was amazing. And we are looking at three grizzly bears. Yeah, the mama and her two right cubs now. that are totally going to get pushed out of on the wild in the wild. They're so. pretty close. I could tell yeah. they're pretty close to mom going. You, Ew. you, out, out. It is nine in the morning and earliest we've ever come to an RV. Park. And I'm glad they were able to accommodate us with yeah. a pull through site, 51 a night, full hookups, Wi Fi, laundry, grass sites, picnic tables, 50 amp. Might be the nicest RV park we've seen in all of Alaska. No joke. All right, we are set up. Yay. It's a nice park. Trish told about what the staff did. Well, I can see a gentleman walking away with a GoPro in his hand. Because our GoPro is, it has like a special clip and yeah. stuff like that. And I'm like, I think he just took our time lapse down. <laughs> so I'm like, excuse me, sir, sir, is that your GoPro? No, no, but we had a, you know, a bunch of people here. So I'm just scouring, making sure nobody left anything. I said, I think that's ours. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the shower felt so good. Nice hot water. And then the laundry here. Ready to get to work. Now, we're here. It's Saturday, we're in Haynes. Mm -hmm. We go and check out Haynes tonight. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we go check out the preserve where we get to see the bears and the eagles. Gotcha. And then Monday morning, I guess the ferry leaves in the late afternoon. Okay. And then we get over to Skagway and then we need a call because there's a glass blowing place. Yes. We go check out the glass blowing place. Jewel at Gardens. Night. Oh my gosh, yeah, we have to give them a call. Oh, that's cool. And Monday, hopefully they're not closed on Mondays. Everybody's It's a holiday. Closed. It's a holiday. On Tuesday. And then we don't spend too much time because we need to leave and start driving. Otherwise, we're not going to make it to Vancouver. We have four days of driving to get okay. to Vancouver. Okay, bye guys. No cooking. Okay, Trish and I are headed out into Haynes because we finally finished the video and now Thank we're you. looking to find a place to upload it because we've been uploading it here for the last hour and it's gone all the way from 0% to 0%. Mm -hmm. It has not budged so we're hopefully going to find a place to upload it. This could be the first late video. Stop, don't. Hush now. We're gonna go figure it I'm out. I'm fairly pessimistic at the moment. No, let's Our just Our chances figure it do out. not look good. Let me bring you up to speed on what we've done in the past 40 minutes. We went to a restaurant. We've called three restaurants that are closed for the season. We've gone to a bar and we couldn't, their internet wasn't working. We've gone to the Rusty Nail and their internet was slow, but they were closed, so we can go back tomorrow. We've gone to the public library. They're closed and will be closed tomorrow and their internet requires a code, so I couldn't test it outside. So we've been pulled over. <laughs> Unbelievable. You'd think I would have been matured past this. Because we're trying to follow a map and we were doing such a bad job, he thought we were intoxicated. <laughs> but we are not. But once he found out that I was not, he's been very helpful very with helpful. helping us find cell phone coverage. <laughs> See, I'm following these maps. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very nice officer. But yes. you know what? There are so many officers that follow KYD. It's unbelievable. But anyway, uh, we got to talking and he like became a concierge and told us where to go for the like the bears <laughs> and all, all sorts of information. The salmon scooper. But I'll tell you what he said. Grizzlies. I'll tell you what he said that he really appreciated. I always know that when at nighttime when a cop's coming behind you, you roll your back windows down. It makes it easier for them to know what's mm -hmm. in the in the truck, what's in the mm -hmm. vehicle takes kind of the pressure out of like, what are they walking up to? He actually said, I appreciate you doing that. He says, no one does that. Thank you. Good morning from Haynes. We started uploading the video last night at 4 p.m.? When, when did I really get done? Four or five? Yeah. And now it's 7.15 in the morning and it's 3% uploaded. Can you believe that? Yes. So we're headed to the Rusty Compass Coffee. And we're just fingers crossed that that internet's gonna be good enough, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna be. Let's go figure it out. Sitting here is making me anxious.
Yeah, it's not fun. Anyhow. We're doing what's called YouTube math. 100% equals fully uploaded video. So 100. And I mean, there's processing, but let's ignore that for now. Okay. Minus, we're at 23%, minus 23 equals 77, mm -hmm. okay? And we have, what time is it? Nine. So 9 10, 5. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have seven hours left. Mm -hmm. So seven hours divided by seven hours. We need 11% an hour. An hour. <laughs> and we've been here for an hour and a half, and it's a and it's at 23%, but we start off at 3 cents 20 in an hour and a half. I think we're good. I think we might make it, but we're going to have to drink a lot of coffee <laughs> to maintain our spot here. And uh, big tips. Cheers. Mm. It is good coffee, though. Isn't Very it? good. I try not to spill it on myself. Now, the only other problem we have here is that we can't go out to, like, do anything, do anything in Haynes. Yeah. Unless if we have someone babysitting our laptop. That's okay, we could be here. We do have a lot to do. Oh, 24. <laughs> that just brought our average down a lot. <laughs> and then I thought, let me go to the library. Turns out the library is just a scotch, scooch, a scotch faster. I came back to my car and there's this nice note on my car that says, we've enjoyed your videos. Thank you for sharing Randy and Irene. Thank you, Randy and Irene. Sorry we didn't get to meet. All right, now into the library. Look at, I'm so excited I get to put my sunglasses on. Man, has, have things really turned around. Did I tell you that they would? When there's a will, there's a way. Now we have new laundry, we have a video that's released, and we have the sun, and we still have the rest of the entire day. I think we have like four to five hours, right? Yeah. All right. change of drivers this drive was so beautiful we had to switch up so that i could operate the cannon oh bumpy bumpy and we went down the road seven miles like we were told oh my gosh wow this river We've never known. is amazing and i have to show this, this to you in a second okay this is why you have to talk to your fellow rvers mm -hmm. we learned about this because of that awesome couple yes okay so before the bridge take a left Go back. Other people, by the way, have been telling us to come up to Chilkoot Lake. Even the cop that pulled us over last night. <laughs> Nothing's gonna beat this in Haines. I'm so excited. Did you see those little bears, those cubs oh. and the mom? Okay, we gotta tell you something was happening. I tried to turn the camera on right when it was happening, but I was in the crowd and I didn't know what was happening. I thought the mama bear was running at the people. She wasn't. Mm -mm. She was running at 
her older cub from a previous litter that is uh, has some like attachment separation issues. Separation issues. Se separation anxiety. He's like, no, I want to come back. <laughs> you make a really good dinner. And she's like, no, you're on your own. <laughs> so she chased him out. And then that bear started running toward the crowd. And then everybody started running back. And these little paw prints go up. And, and then I ended up seeing that bear up and above me. Walked all along the ledge. He was That's like right. totally stalking his yeah. mom. But she's got three more cubs to think yeah. about. And then there's another mom over there with two cubs. It's like Cub City over here. And just this setting is one of the more amazing like sites yeah. in Alaska that we've been at. And so to be here with, with bears, there are really not a lot of people, mm -hmm. really, right? Mm -hmm. no. So, and the weather, and it's sunny, and it's warm. This is, this will be, yeah, this. Well, and you also get to see trial or, um, survival of the fittest you get to see mm -hmm. survival of the fittest because the one bear of the three is constantly catching fish and yes. it's like excuse me excuse me i need to go eat my fish yes and then the other two are a little shy yes the other two are a little shy yeah. they're like i don't really want to get in <laughs> <laughs> and the mom's like get your little butt in here because you need to learn how to fish i like how trish really taps into the inner bear inner, <laughs> well, inner, inner, inner mama mom bear thinking you do yes <laughs> That really could not have worked out any better. Not only was the weather great, but it was so wonderful. And then there were two couples down here that watched the channel and we got to catch up with them. And that's a lot of fun. So it's like meeting people that you know who you don't know, but you kind of know. <laughs> and and plus the other thing is everyone li loves to share with us Everyone loves to share with us their story, when they retired, when they bought the rig, how long they've been gone. So that kind of makes you feel like you know people. Right. Because they're like, oh, like, oh hell, since, since I talked to you last, we've retired. <laughs> we've been out for 10 months and anyhow, it makes it, it makes it fun. It's kind of like we have friends everywhere we go. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, this has been a tremendous amount of fun. I'm so glad we came to Haynes. I do wish we had more time, but because it's later in the trip, we're kind of eager to get going. Uh, but there is plenty of things to do here, so put hangs on your list, and we'll let you know if we get on the uh, the Skagway Ferry. The Skagway Ferry, because that's tomorrow. Ah! Why are you happy, Trish? Because the sun is out, and you it's know, beautiful weather. Here's the thing we did not really realize until now. We were severely lacking vitamin D. Am I right? <laughs> totally right. Might not be as bad when you come up here. We've heard we, that it's a very wet season. It's been a wet season. Mm -hmm. And now that we're here in a short sleeve shirt with a blue sky and no wind. Well, I don't have my typical three jackets on. Tell me about it. And yes. the sun is up and we woke up like a regular time, like regular people. And we cleaned the rig. Feels so good. It feels like we're back. We're back. So, so why not get on a ferry today? Yeah, it's going to be a fun day. So, the re And the reason we bring that up is because, and we've said this before, oftentimes your best RV trips are going to have the best, you're going to have the, the right expectations. So if you come up here knowing that Alaska is going to be amazing, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be easy. It might be a little challenging. Then you could set yourself up to have an even better time than you would normally. Because if you come up here thinking this is going to be the best trip ever and everything's going to go great, there are going to be some challenges. Well, the road twists and turns. And so, but just be ready for that and then it'll make it better. Yes. When we say that, we mean that you're going to be driving in the rain. You're going to be setting up in the rain. You're going to be pulling through mud. You're going yeah. to be just doing things that are like slightly aggravating, but it's worth it. Cell phone coverage is good, but it's not great. Everything, you know, so there's trade-offs, but yes. that's why it's Alaska. If it was easy, everybody would be here. Right. All right, let's go get in the ferry. Okay. Go walk out of the frame. Oh, okay. We're going to walk out of the frame. going great they come by for the tickets yet no they just came to check us in like on their little clipboard but oh, that's okay. it it's actually quite amazing that we were able to do this without reservations because <laughs> these rigs are so long and there's so many of them the fact that we can show up the morning of and just roll on 61 feet is pretty amazing I'm gonna put this up on the roof of the truck right up there I've got a GoPro mount right up there that's be a way better angle oh but I don't have my swivel where's my swivel <gasps> Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can we swivel?
You think you'll have this done in time? Totally. Yeah? We you got 500 that? pieces in an hour. I could go recruit some help. So, or the beginning. Or the beginning. We don't even know. So, or I gotta the put the camera down. I got to get off this ferry. If it's the end, we'll see you next Sunday. If it's the beginning, welcome to Skagway. If, we, if it's the beginning, I have a really good hair day right now. Like, do you see this? Ooh.